So you think the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was terrible. This Indiana Jones action figure is one of the worst. Why? Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a rant about these cheesy, cheap, retro-style action figures. What are we waiting for? Let's go. really grinds my gears so what's up everybody welcome back to the jeff man 316 pop culture reporter channel i'm your host as always jeff man 316 quick little rant do you guys ever see these like retro looking figures in stores it's like the 80s style packaging um this case it's indiana jones uh this is more like the uh, temple of doom here indiana jones um i bought this one and i don't have it in front of me but i bought the short round um, I actually own some vintage uh, Indiana Jones figures that uh, from back in the day. So I like this style, but I'm going to show you what I don't like about it. You see this? Look at that. And if you look at the card, it is completely clean. What's up with that? What's up with that? There is nothing, no residue, no nothing around it. I did not drop this figure. Here's what happened. This figure, I purchased it. The card, you can tell, is a little bit was a little bit warped from the store. I don't think that had anything to do with it, though. So this figure was laying on my desk, and all I did was, and I had a movie that was laying beside it. I'm going to use this as an example. So like the movie was laying beside it, and when I picked the movie up, I barely tapped the corner of that bubble. And I mean not hard, but barely tapped it. And when I saw the, the, the bubble move, um, the damn thing immediately just slid off. And you can see that there's glue residue around the edges of that. It basically dried on the damn package and, uh, and popped off. So what the hell? That's Bush. Bush League. You hear me? Andre, look at me! I thought maybe because this was Kenner that it would uh, be a better product. I've had this happen in the past. So trust me, this style retro card packaging, unless I'm going to open it, it'll be the last one I get as far as the collectible. And I'll show you why. So over the years, I've bought a couple figures in the reaction figure line that uses the same um, style. And I did it with these uh, horror series. I've got a bunch of them. I've got the Michael Myers that's in one of my displays. I got Freddy, I got Jason, I've got Sam, and I think I've got Pinhead. Well, you want to know what the problem with that is? The same damn thing. I had these hanging on a wall probably almost a decade. And I noticed on the Nightmare on Elm Street that the bubble had popped loose at the top. And it's still connected at the bottom but not all the way and so what happened was the hat that's in here had fallen out because of the bubble coming three quarters of the way loose so when i was taking them off of the wall the same exact thing that happened to that indiana jones figure happened to my friday the 13th figure the bubble just totally popped off and you can see there's nothing torn about it it's just the glue around the bubble basically dried and popped loose i guess over time just natural you know the heat of spring summer winter the different temperatures probably in the room as the heat and the air conditioner comes on i don't know but these are the, some of the worst design fucking figures so this is like at least a decade or more apart and the exact same shit is happening you gotta be fucking kidding so these companies need to come up with a better method of, of adhering these bubbles. I've got shit from the 80s that's hanging on the wall over here from the superpowers and the bubbles are still on the card. So whatever they were using then is not comparable to what they're using now. These figures fucking suck now. All I gotta do is say earmuffs to them. 
earmuffs. They can say, fuck, shit, bitch, whatever you want. And, I, and you know, I've, you spend good money on these things. This was worth some money. And here's what happened. When it when the bubble popped loose on this one, I dropped it in the floor. The machete that came with this Jason is now missing. It's probably over behind my television that I use during my live stream. So now I've got to deal with that shit. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. So I'm not, bar I'm barely even going to touch my Michael Myers when it's in a display. And I'm not only, I don't want to touch it because that one is actually worth some money. But um, either way, we spend our hard earned money on collectibles. And uh, you would think they'd spend a little bit more instead of going so cheap with these things. So uh, do, do better. I don't know if the same company does these, um, but I'm not buying any more of these reaction figures. And this is more like a PSA and a warning. Um, this shit could happen to you. And like I said, there was no major impact with these figures at all. And I did nothing to damage them other than touch them, basically. So if you experienced anything like that, put some comments down below. And while you're down there, like the video, like any video on my channel. Hopefully uh, you guys keep supporting me and I'll keep making content. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And then after you do all that, make sure you hit the notification bell. When I do more PSAs or anything like that, you'll know and you can come back and watch it. And like I said, or just watch any of my other content on the channel. I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. So until next time, boys and girls, this is JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. <laughs>